Hello everybody, my name is Jenny Wilder and I'm the rector here at St. Anne's Episcopal Church in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and this is this week's um, COVID-19 update. As you know, on Tuesday mornings at 8.30, the clergy and lay leadership of the diocese gather together for a phone call or a Zoom meeting, and we talk about all things that are happening in the diocese that need to be um, known for the lay leadership and clergy. And I am happy to report as of uh, this recording that there are no changes uh, for our COVID-19 guidelines at this time. I did go on the, on the um, Department of Health for North Carolina's website today to look at our numbers for Forsyth County. Um, and we are beginning to see a decline or a flattening of the curve. Uh, we're currently at 11.9% positive case rate, trying to make our way down to 6.5%, at which time we can remove our masks um, in worship indoor services and for indoor meetings. So continue to pray for our neighbors that uh, they get the vaccine um, and also that they maintain uh, good hygiene, wearing a mask, staying six feet apart, and um, using hand sanitizer. So one thing I did that did come up today during our meeting um, is that we are expecting an, uh, to welcome um, Afghan refugees in the state of North Carolina. And there are multiple agencies that will be helping these folks um, arrive and get settled. And as ways become um, made known to us, to assist these Afghan refugees, um, I will communicate that to the parish in case you would like to offer up um, assistance to uh, the refugees. A large po portion of them are going to be in the Raleigh area and in the Greensboro area and the Charlotte area. So we are close neighbors to uh, places and people who will be assisting the refugees. One thing I, we did hear today is that a lot of these folks are arriving with just the clothes on their back. And if they have little ones, babies, toddlers, uh, they don't have car seats. So if you have a car seat or a booster seat at home that you're no longer using and would like to donate these to the um, to the Afghan refugees, contact me and we will make that happen. So an immediate need and call for car seats and booster seats have, has gone out and you can help us with that if you happen to have a baby seat, a car seat, a booster seat at home that you're no longer using. Apart from that, today is September the 21st and it is international, it is the International Day of Peace and today at St. Anne's we're inviting any and all to come and do a self-guided walk in our peace labyrinth on the front lawn. I know it's raining, but sometimes rain, walking in the rain can be very cleansing and very healing. You'll also find um, in the doors, the doors that enter into the narthex, uh, a table set up for you to do peace rocks and they're rocks that you can write words of, of peace on or prayers for peace on or just the word peace or the symbol and then you take that rock with you wherever you're going next and perhaps leave it there so that we are taking the peace out into the world okay one other announcement for this week is tomorrow evening september the 22nd at 6 p.m we will be doing a service of lament here at St. Anne's. Uh, this service will not be online, so if you want to come and participate, um, you need to be here in person, please remember to wear a mask. And we will hold the burden of what it is to be here in this day and age with all the mess and trouble and hurt and disorder in our world. And if that's feeling really heavy, on your heart, then you are invited to come and worship and help lay that burden down. Okay? So tomorrow evening at 6 p.m., a service of lament. Today, all day until 7 p.m., International Day of Peace, Labyrinth Walking, and Peace Rocks. And all those who have a car seat, a booster seat at home that you no longer are using, if you'd like to offer that to the Afghan refugees who are coming to our state, 
let me know and we will work to get that booster seat and car seat into the hands of people who will be able to give them to our incoming siblings. All right, friends, that'll do it for me. Uh, may God bless you. May God keep you. Please encourage people to get the vaccine and I will see you soon. Take care and God bless.